SCP-999 Object Class Safe Description SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime, weighing about 54 kilograms, with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. Subject's size and shape constantly change, though most of the time its form is the size of a large beanbag chair. Composition of SCP-999 is oil-based, but consists of a substance unknown to modern science. Other than a thin, transparent membrane surrounding the orange mass, subject appears to have no organs to speak of. Subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod, all the time emitting high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. The surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odour that differs from whoever it is interacting with. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses and play-doh. Simply touching SCP-999's surface causes an immediate euphoria, which intensifies the longer one is exposed to SCP-999, and lasts long after separation from the creature. Subject's favourite activity is tickle wrestling, often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling them until they ask to stop, though it does not always comply with this request. While the creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Persons suffering from crippling depression after interacting with SCP-999 have returned completely cured with a positive outlook on life. The possibility of marketing SCP-999 slime as an antidepressant has been discussed. In addition to its playful behaviour, SCP-999 seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat any meat and even risking its own life to save others, even leaping in front of a person to take a bullet fired at them. Subject's intellect is still up for debate. Though its behaviour is infantile, it seems to understand human speech and most modern technology, including guns. The creature's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with M&Ms and Necco wafers being its favourite. Its eating methods are similar to that of an amoeba. Special Containment Procedures SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility should it desire to, but otherwise must stay in its pen. The subject is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Pen is to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to other tasks at the time or if they are on break. Subject is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. Addendum SCP-999-A The following is a report from an experiment in when SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb the creature's omnicidal rage. SCP-999 is released into SCP-682's containment area. SCP-999 immediately slithers towards SCP-682. What is that? SCP-999 moves in front of SCP-682, jumping up and down in a dog-like manner while calling out in a high-pitched squealing noise. <sighs> Disgusting. SCP-682 immediately steps on SCP-999, completely flattening SCP-999. Observers were about to abort the experiment when SCP-682 started talking again. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> I feel all tingly inside. SCP-999 can be seen crawling up from between SCP-682's toes, up along its side and around its neck, where it clings on and begins gently nuzzling with its pseudopod. A wide grin slowly spreads across SCP-682's face. <laughs> I feel so... happy. Happy. <laughs> happy, happy. SCP-682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, laughing occasionally before escalating into non-stop laughter. As laughter continues, SCP-682 rolls around on its back, slamming its tail upon the floor with a dangerous force. <laughs> Stop. No tickling. <laughs> SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue the tickle fight until SCP-682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep with what would appear to be a smile on its face. After 15 minutes with no activity, Two D-Class personnel enter the room to retrieve SCP-999. 
When SCP-999 is removed, SCP-682 immediately wakes up and unleashes an unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all the while laughing maniacally. All persons within the wave's range collapse into crippling fits of laughter, allowing SCP-682 to escape and slaughter all in its path. Meanwhile, SCP-999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from SCP-682's laughter wave, while agents suppress and recontain SCP-682. Despite the tragedy that SCP-682 brought upon the facility, SCP-999 has not shown any fear towards the creature, and in fact has made gestures suggesting it wants to play with SCP-682 again. SCP-682, however, has stated, That feculent little snodwad can fuck off and die. Memo from Dr. While the test was unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that has to be the funniest thing I've ever seen. I never thought I'd see the day when I would regard SCP-682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you, Steffi, for the suggestion. I really enjoyed that one. Next time is SCP-0 Thor 9, so subscribe today to stay updated on when that comes out. That one should be coming out soon enough. And if you can't wait that long, then please consider becoming a patron. You'll get access to all the images as they are finished, SCP priority suggestions, one-on-one -on -one chats, your own sketches, and a lot more. And thank you, Ethan, Gabriel, Eric, Hulk, and Steffi. Your pledges are very much appreciated. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care.